Chapter 6 Basics of GDL Scripting In this chapter, you'll start using GDL commands. The example object that we'll use is a simple circular tabletop with a round leg. You will work in the library part editor window and learn about the various elements of this environment. The object hierarchy, subtypes, ZZYZX parameter, the global coordinate system and the local coordinate system, 3D script and 3D view, plus 2D script and 2D full view windows, parameter script window, 3D hotspots of objects. This lesson demonstrates the following basic object making techniques. Using basic 3D shape generating commands. Using parameters in GDL commands to make objects parametric. Manipulating the local coordinate system, moving, mirroring, and undoing coordinate transformations. Using commands to set materials. Checking the created model in 3D for correctness. Step 1. Overview. Open the 6.1 overview saved view from the navigator view map. The pedestal table shown on the picture was designed by the famous Swedish furniture designer Ben Off Schulten. It is made of natural lacquered birch. The pedestal on which it stands may be chrome, white, or black lacquered. The leg is made of birch. Its top material may be birch veneer, linoleum, or laminate. Choose the File, Libraries and Objects, New Object, Menu Command. As you can see, the object has six default parameters. These parameters come from the GDL subtype the object is based on. Every GDL object has a subtype it is based on. Subtypes are different kinds of GDL objects with different kinds of basic behavior and different sets of parameters. They can be considered to be like templates. When creating a GDL object, it is important which subtype it is based on. Click the Select Subtype button in the Library Part Editor window to bring up the Subtype Hierarchy dialog. Subtypes are arranged in hierarchy. Subtypes at a certain level of the hierarchy are based on the subtype immediately above them in the hierarchy and inherit its behavior and parameter set. Besides that, they can have their own special behavior and parameters. Select in the hierarchy, Model Element, Opening, Roof Opening, Skylight, and click the Select button. The default parameter list of the object has changed. There are many more parameters available now that control how the object behaves, how it is represented in 2D, etc. Also, a roof opening type of object, when placed onto a roof, will always cut a hole for itself into the roof. This behavior is specific to the roof opening subtype. A usual model object would not behave this way. This is why it is important to select the proper subtype for your object. At the top of the editor window, above the new button, the name of the subtypes is displayed for quick reference. Click the Select Subtype button again, and in the hierarchy, select the general GDL object, Model Element Subtype, and click the Select button to return to the editor window. Since we are now creating a general 3D element, this is the best subtype for the task.